So it's hello from me. My voice is actually back. I can finally speak again after 10 days of losing my voice. So we're here in the capital of India, Delhi. Uh, Mr. Greg just showed you one of the most iconic probably monuments in Delhi, the India Gate, which was actually built to commemorate, it was built by the British during colonial rule to commemorate the fall of World War I, although the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier from the Indo-Pakistan conflict is also under it. Uh, the National Indian Monument is somewhere behind us over there as well. And this whole area was constructed originally by the British. You can see that it's a massive park now. Um, and it's incredibly busy. Delhi is one of the most craziest packed cities I've ever been to. It probably is the most craziest packed city that I've ever been to in my life. It is mental. If you out towards the sort of road there, I mean, you can't really see it, but the traffic is just a continuous, um, basically, continuous beeping, everything. There's so much. And this is, this is contributing to Delhi only one month ago being being uh, made the number one most polluted city in the world. So as well as being the capital of India, number one in the world for pollution, which is not a fact it wants to be proud of. Um, and in fact, actually, it was eight two years ago. So it's really, really gone up in terms of... So why? Well, one is obviously the terrible traffic condition, uh, congestion. This is, you know, India has the, now has the biggest population in the world at 1.3 billion. It's overtaken China very recently. But also, um, it's basically its problem is, ge is physical geography. It's actually bounded to the north by the Himalayas. Um, and also, outside of Delhi, they burn lots of stubble and they think that really contributes it. Plus, as well, they burn a lot of coal. So it's not good news, really. They are trying to tackle it. There's a city uh, to the south west called Pune which actually is where our son's lovely lovely girlfriend Rituja comes from and they've been trying to sort of find different ways of tackling it to make it more sustainable but it's not working because they can't enforce anything here they seem not to be able to but they need to to preserve these monuments here otherwise they're going to be covered in acid rain that's enough from me about air pollution see you soon